Hello viewers! Today I present you one interesting generator, so free energy generator. This is called Robert Tracy Permanent Magnet Motor. So basically it's even different, a little bit different, I must read it. So it's reciprocating motor with motion conversion means. This is the exact name from the patent and I will put the link in the description below. So not to waste time, let's get to the drawings and see how it works. Okay, let's now describe the patent. I will make one short rotation that you see. So let's uh, start from the scratch. Uh, this green here is the classical generator which produces electricity. And now let's try to describe the, the magnetic motor. motor yeah? So let's see. Okay, you see that we have a total eight set, eight magnets in the system. Uh, one are here with the like pole facing one to other, one on the, on the other axis, and that's it. Yeah, in the mi uh, in the middle, so these uh, magnets are actually mo mounted on the crankshaft. Uh, so the same, this uh, this gray here, uh, and on these bearings is the crankshaft. This is the same type of crankshaft you have in your car. And on this crankshaft in your car are mounted pistons. So that's it. This is how you move your car in in the normal conditions. And let's see what is the idea here. Here, how Robert Tracy found a solution to use this this setup for getting a free energy. Okay. Uh, if I turn it in this way, you see that we have some battery here and some wires are connected to the solenoids which are uh, wounded around steel plates. Yeah? And uh, in reality, uh, all these four, you can see four solenoids, one, two, three, and here is the fourth. Uh, fourth and uh, each of them is connected to this uh, battery, yeah? it's a source of energy. And why is that needed? So. Uh, if you see over here, uh, this is used, for example, when when this magnets move, uh, when this crankshaft makes a rotation, in one point uh, it's close to one magnet, in second point to the second magnet, and the third magnet, and the fourth magnet, and they, it depends on where is uh, positioned on the where is uh, crankshaft yeah? in certain in certain time, yeah, and by by this uh, current yeah so which we lead through wires to the uh, steel plate yeah, we actually pr make uh, electromagnet yeah and this electromagnet will shift the pole of the magnet and then it will not repel it will attract one the other yeah? so that's the idea yeah? and if i just now a little zoom out and i unhide So you can see that here is some kind of circle. Yeah? I made it transparent, and here is missing. Uh, on this circle should actually, with some kind of setup, move these steel plates. Uh, this steel plates. I'll select one now. These steel plates should be moved by this, let's say, circle in some way, yeah? uh, depending on the position on the circle, how it spins, and then uh, in the timely manner we uh, send the energy. To the to the solenoids, yeah, and uh, it actually enables that system is spinning, yeah. So 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 I'll try to be even more simpler. So basically, we need this current uh, from the battery in timely manner when this uh, uh, when this circle, uh, which moves the steel plates, yeah, uh, which come between the magnets, uh, and then make demagnetization, yeah, with uh, with acting uh, with uh, with putting current to the uh, steel plates, we, we made an electro electromagnet, yeah, and that's it, yeah, and and by a means of uh, rotation, then we have in timely manner separation and uh, actually permanent rotation, yeah, and and that's it, yeah, that's that's the whole idea. So he used a crankshaft. Yeah? To move the magnets uh, one toward each other, yeah? and by means of electricity and um, steel plates, he controls the magnetic field that uh, actually ma magnets change their state, yeah? so that they can repel 
or attract each other. Yeah? In normal state, you can see they are repelling, so with the like poles faced. Yeah? And that's it. That's the whole. That's the whole Robert Tracy permanent magnet machine uh, with this, uh, let's say, mechanical system, which is connected then via the shaft uh, to the classical generator, which produces current. So this is it. Yeah? This is the Robert Tracy machine, and um, I, I really liked to make this patent because it's it's interesting. But let's see what will be the next generator, so until then, please stay tuned on my channel.